Okay, here we go with my uh, Lima setup. It's um, a 32 channel uh, Mackie Universal Control mixer. Uh, I've had a lot of help uh, getting this to go properly. Um, let's have a look what it does. Okay, we've got a play button down here. Uh, rewind, fast forward. Uh, got some uh, VU meters at the top. Uh, select buttons down here. Okay. Uh, the uh, fader control. Mutes. Solos. Uh, record arm. Uh, we've got. Uh, mixer button which opens the mixer in Cubase and closes it again. Uh, there's a edit channel button. Okay, and if we flick over here, I'm just uh, working on a EQ section. If we look in uh, Cubase, it allows me to change a few of the settings. So here we go. We've got our control still work in process um, we'd like to get uh, these numbers on here to display the frequencies on all the four balls uh, we've got a bypass going there okay back to the top um, just experimenting with the uh, read write buttons at the minute they're they're actually duplicating I want to get these so they're programmed in for the read write automation uh, they're just set up with them actually working at the minute what else have we got um, some V pots there again. Uh, not really happy with these, they take too long to get where they're going. It's a working pros here. Solo defeat light. And then if we open up the mixer in Cubase, we can just get rid of the edit channel. I can uh, decide what sort of groups or uh, channel uh, inputs and uh, that I want to display. So if we go to audio, we can switch on and off the audio settings, groups and all, whatever. To see. Over this side, I've got a selected channel fader. So, if you just want to grab the selected channel, you can do that there. And also, we've got a, another pan control here. So, we can go left. Go, which is a bit harder because you lose reach and go right as well. Okay, just normal uh, redo and do, uh, save button. 